I think we're starting fresh. I, I don't think any stats really matter at all. I, I think this, the award starts now. So Kenneth Walker is the favorite at two to one. Uh, I noticed this morning. Damian Pierce, the two of them are kind of neck and neck for, for the favorite. But after that, mm-hmm. you could probably make case for a, a bunch of different players. I, I don't know what to do with this. It feels like we're going towards November and we haven't even started this award race. When you see a running back or multiple running backs as the favorite, that's where I would look for my value. And we could bring this over to comeback player. Unless you're betting on that Saquon's going to get injured at some point since he's such a heavy favorite for that award. And it already happened here with the offensive rookie. Now one running back went down. Will the next two go down, Walker and Pierce? And by the way, the, four, the yeah, fourth favorite is Brian Robinson. So this thing, you're right, start over. It's completely wide open. Now, if Walker or Pierce play the full season, they continue to produce, one of them is probably going to win the award. Well, what are the chances that a rookie running back is going to play the entire season? Who was the guy that got the most steam all summer? It was, it was George Pickens. And then he started the year, he didn't do anything. But look <laughs> yeah. at his numbers. If you look at his targets and numbers, it's Pickett became the quarterback. He's averaging five catches, 68 yards per game. He does that. Pick the rest it to of the Pickens. Way. We've been saying pick I, it to Pickens yep. every time he's those tw- two are playing. It's it's a good thing. He's twenty to one right now. If he plays the way he has the last four weeks, the rest of the way, he's going to get close to a thousand yards on the season. I, I think twenty to one is a pretty good number on George Pickens after not doing I anything just, for the first month. In a quarterback to receiver combination where they're both offensive rookies, how does the receiver get it over the quarterback? Any number that he gets, the quarterback's going to get as well. He's got to get, like, nothing to anybody else. But the quarterback could also throw interceptions and, and look bad, right? But 68 yards a game, 70 mm-hmm. yards a game, and a touchdown, that, that just looks good, right? The context okay. of how they do it doesn't really matter. 